So what are they doing up there in Boston? They must be doing something right, because it's working. But what is it? But you know, there is something connected with the Jacksons much bigger than the album these days. It's so big. <laughs> How big is it, Bear? Big enough. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so much for the talent theory. Well, maybe it's our music and animation package. Uh, but that can't be the only reason. Tonight on our special live marathon edition of Evening Magazine, we'll take a look back at the excitement, the atmosphere, the tension of today's race, the mother of marathon. It's the year of the theme show on Evening Magazine. Half hour, all locally produced shows with one topic, like this year's Boston Marathon, with live ins and outs and quick turnaround stories. Heartbreak Hill is named for a very good reason, as Jeff Smith learned firsthand. As he came through the hills, a cramped hamstring got the best of him. As thousands of viewers watched by television, many thought he would not finish the race. Then there was a second chance show. The operation was a success, and the country breathed a collective sigh of relief as the Fisk went home to Bridgewater. It's been, it's been three months, and when we brought Jamie out, she was, she was dying. Probably the best reason and the, the thing that can make us most excited is our daughter, Jamie, and here she is. Archbishop Bernard Law's elevation to Cardinal took us to Rome, and a half-hour special brought the story back to Boston. You're saying that amidst our changing times, the Catholic Church really does have a very relevant role. Oh, it's the most relevant institution there is. We'll be around when most of the institutions you see all around us are dead. A trip down the Allagash River was a departure from our normal format, but not at the expense of ratings. Arbitron clocked us that night at a 13.5 rating and a 25 share. The river's nice because it's intimate and every corner's got the potential surprise like moose or deer or otters or something around it. There's a uh, common merganza up ahead with a couple of chicks. The season premiere of Miami Vice prompted us to plan a special show. What we didn't plan was Hurricane Gloria. So with some quick changes, our Miami Vice show was done live from the WBZ Weather Center. We call that the northeast quadrant of the storm, and that is the most dangerous part of the storm system, and that's why we're concerned. The closer it comes to us, the more likely we are to experience the northeast quadrant, and that, of course, is where the worst activity is. <laughs> Evening Magazine Boston's been traveling a lot, too, with theme weeks from all over, including a ski trip to Sugarloaf, a tour of Bermuda, spring break in Florida, a week in Rome, and then Quebec, and currently in production, India. Three half-hour specials, nine local stories to air the last three days of this book. Namaste, and welcome to Evening Magazine. Hi, I'm Sarah Edwards. And I'm Barry Nolan, and when you travel this far to this part of the world, well, you'll hear a lot of people talking about how you do have to recover from jet lag, but you also have to recover from a kind of time lag. You feel like you do travel back in time to see life as it was lived centuries ago. What would it be like to be co-host for an evening? We've been doing our share of contests in Boston. To the evening office, where the show never stops. You'll help produce a feature story. You'll co-host a whole evening show with Barry Nolan and Sarah Edwards. Just, Just tell, tell us in 25, 25 words or less why you should be co-host for an evening. Catch your rising star. Send your entry to co-host for an evening contest. P.O. Box 400, Boston, Mass. See you on TV. In our fourth annual co-host for an evening contest, we've added some new twists. Voting night was expanded to a half hour, consisting of all contest-related stories. Of the pack. Right. <laughs> or going to the chapel of love. Could I see leader again? <laughs> well, if you like that kind of music, you'll be happy to know that it's alive and well in Boston. And the winner was sent to New York to go behind the scenes of the Today Show to play co-host in a feature story. And good morning. This is today, February 11th. I'm Jane Pauley, and this is Carmen Salvucci. What have you done with Bryant's body? 
We also gave the viewers a chance to win a trip to Bermuda and recently another trip to Hollywood to go behind the scenes of Cheers. Now here's an opportunity you just can't pass up. A date with you? Well, almost. A chance to win a trip for two to Cheers where you can see what really happens behind the scenes. Does this trip include a chaperone? Well, all you have to do to enter now is send me your age, marital status, uh, phone number. Sam, send a postcard with your name, address, and daytime phone number to Cheers for an evening, Box 400, Boston, Mass. The winner will be drawn November 7th on Evening Magazine at 7.30. All I have to do is send me, really, just a photo, any kind, small, big, large. Our same-day adventure with the show's ins and outs is paying off, bringing a timely quality to Evening Magazine. Well, bear in mind it's dangerous. This past weekend, 17 skydivers lost their lives when their single-engine plane crashed shortly after takeoff. In an effort to further integrate timeliness into the show, we've experimented with stories that reflect current events, features including Von Bulow's Lawyer, Air Disaster Training School, and Samantha Smith Remembered help us to have a more up-to-date look. I wrote the letter because I was afraid of the nuclear war because nuclear bombs break the atmosphere, which would let our oxygen out, and so we wouldn't have any oxygen to breathe with. That's scary. I didn't want to die. While being timely in terms of current events has been important, our real emphasis has been on more promotable, often provocative lead stories. All it really needs is a good brain, because sexuality does not take place between the waist and the knees. But none of this is done at the expense of our unforgettable local characters. Our New England Portrait series tells the stories of New England's unsung heroes. I see that as a New England quality. Bruise the air and march on with life and underneath you're not quite as tough but you're gonna go on and deal with life because it's worth it. Based on marketing research we put Barry and Sarah back on camera again in the topical promos. Roma e bellissima. Two cups of cappuccino, she thinks she's a Phil Lauren. I'm Barry Nolan. And I'm Sarah Edwards on Thursday's Evening Magazine at 7. And more produced credit packages are adding a nice touch to the end of the show. We've come to realize that even for tourism to survive as an economic activity, we must protect and restore all those things which are guests are coming to see. Perhaps I'm a bit old-fashioned in that um, I like to sort of go back more to an era when women look more like women. So kiss me and smile for me Tell me that you'll wait for me Hold me like you'll never let me go Finally, each night, just before the fourth segment of the show, we've added a little something that's exclusive to Evening and WBZ. And welcome to Lottery Live for this Halloween night. I'm Tom Bergeron with the adult version of Trick or Treat here for you. Coming up, a little more of the special Halloween edition of Evening Magazine then tonight. Well, all this is just fine. But as we all know, all our success is due to the talent. Well, I love April Fool's Day. People playing practical jokes and... Are you there? <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> I love April Fool's Day. It brings out the practical jokester. I can't talk anymore. <laughs>